The 1960s and 70s saw the rise of many new political and social movements in the U.S. One of these movements was the Chicano movement, which was particularly active in the Southwest. Although the movement did many things, part of its purpose was to celebrate a unique Mexican-American identity. One way people sought to do this was through art. Many Chicano artists revived the Mexican public art of muralism, and it was particularly popular in Los Angeles. Chicano artists used murals to publicly express the frustration caused by the inequalities their communities had faced. They reclaimed historical images from Mexican culture and empowered their communities at the same time. Muralism became another front in the Chicano movement. The muralists of the Chicano movement were mainly influenced by the three great Mexican muralists, or Los Tres Grandes, Diego Rivera, David Siqueiros, and José Clemente Orozco. Los Tres Grandes influenced the Chicano muralists artistically and taught them that murals could be used as political tools. This mural, Read Between the Lines by David Botello, demonstrates this political conscience very well. The powerful Chicano man is depicted as a slave of modern society, while his family is distracted by the images of militarism and sex in the media, and a young boy is encouraged to read about Mexican history by Quetzalcoatl, an Aztec god. The mural questions technology's role in society and as a tool of subjugation. The inclusion of the contract with other symbols of bondage implies that this nightmarish scene of control and enslavement is also enforced through legal methods. The mural encourages awareness of Mexican culture and history as a means of liberation from oppression. This mural also demonstrates some of the critiques of Chicano muralism. The emphasis upon masculinity leaves Chicanas no role in the story. Although it offers a path to empowerment that could be followed by either gender, the mural depicts the Chicano struggle as a predominantly male experience. The only female roles in the mural are uncritical acceptances of Anglo-American culture. The Chicana Chicano muralist movement included a wide variety of artists who were involved in the Chicano political movement at varying levels. Some worked directly with labor organizations like the UFW, while others saw their art as independent of specific politics. Many artists collaborated and formed gallery spaces and artists' collectives, such as the prominent Los Four and East Los Streetscapers. Within the Chicano movement, there were disagreements between artists as to what it meant to be a Chicano artist, and whether it was at its heart a political movement or a cultural movement. Whether or not it was political, one positive outcome of the muralism movement was that, at times, it brought together Chicano youths and other members of the community in a creative process. The murals became an important summer project for many young Chicanos and Chicanos. The murals' hands-on approach to history collection and representation also spread knowledge to the community of Chicano history that was otherwise neglected in school. Male and female muralists had very different experiences as members of both the muralist and Chicano movements. In both movements, women were often placed in a position that asked them to decide between fighting for their rights as a woman or their rights as a Chicana. In the words of one Chicana artist, there was a lot of reluctance on their part to give me that support because of my age and because I'm a woman. I think at that particular time period, a lot of Chicano artists were insecure. They had such little regard for women. Even in the murals themselves, women were often portrayed in the background, off to one side, and as supporters of the main hero being depicted. Due to this, the muralist movement, much like the broader Chicano movement, alienated a great number of female artists and activists. But as women's voices grew stronger, they worked to change this inequity. Some female muralists formed their own coalition, Las Mujeres Muralistas, and Judith Baca created the Great Wall of Los Angeles, one of the most monumental murals of the city. Los Angeles's Chicano muralism of the 1960s and 70s, much like the Chicano movement itself, was not always easy to define. Members struggled to define what it meant to be a Chicana or Chicano artist, and responded to the political and cultural changes of the times. However, much of their work still stands as a testament to their movement. <laughs>